On that, let's move on. Let's talk about 50-foot set-asides. We have viewers who are concerned about that. Is it uh, time to go? Is it time to go yet? Time up. Where's the red light? <laughs> You've got a couple of minutes yet. You're not going to escape without talking about Who wants to talk about where we where we stand? We only have, we do have only a couple of minutes left. Let's talk about where we stand on the 50-foot thing. Who can give us an update on that? Well, I'll just say, you know, I give, again, I give Governor Dayton credit for elevating this issue. I think this is something he's very serious about. And uh, those of us who are, are concerned about water quality, we know, uh, you know whether it's nitrates or, or other issues, that, that this problem is serious in Minnesota. You know, I think as you look at this legislative session, it, it may be challenging for us to be able to to, uh, to do everything that Governor has, has asked us to do. But I think uh, the issue has been elevated. And I, I look at an opportunity for, for Senator Chamberlain and I, we serve on the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the Legislative Water Commission. And I think it's a great venue for, uh, for Democrats and Republicans from the House and the Senate to be able to tackle the complexities of this issue uh, during the legislative interim this uh, summer and into the fall and hopefully come back next session with some you know, consensus items for, uh, for how to promote uh, you know, uh, clean water in Minnesota. That's not to say we can't get some uh, significant things accomplished this year. I think there are some elements out there in the bills moving forward that, we, that would do that. I just think the, the all-inclusive approach uh, is going to be difficult this session. Senator Chamberlain, I'll just, water. Yeah, I'll just take 30 seconds here. Uh, then he's uh, on that. Um, yeah, he, uh, he raised the issue. There are concerns. But you can't just take 50 feet uh, off, off of people's property and say, too bad, so sad. You had to have some work there. And uh, the conversations I've heard lately are addressing that issue, and there might be a fix and uh, some compromise there to take care of that issue, protect the water, but uh, make sure that landowners are, are protected as well. You just can't do it. You know, I've been real encouraged recently. The governor has, has noted that he needs more flexibility than just a uniform 50 feet. Um, there's actually been really <coughs> fruitful discussions uh, just in the last few days with uh, agricultural community, environmentalists, the governor, uh, Bowser Director Jasky. Uh, they're working real well. Uh, Senator Skoy, uh, Representative Torkelson. I, I think you're actually going to see uh, this come together. The governor uh, and Ag are going to, I think, in the end, be standing together and say this is something we're excited to do together. I think you'll see something significant this year that the Ag community is going to say, you know what, we can go along with some things here.